Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, we're gonna be adding an Azure Bastion service to our virtual network to protect our virtual machine. In a previous video, I created a Bitcoin miner and I have it running in my Azure subscription. But this Bitcoin miner is actually exposed to the internet because I have port 3389 enabled, allowing me to use remote desktop protocol or RDP. And this is not a secure setup to allow this port to be open all the time. Now, it would certainly be more secure if I was to filter based on source IP address and I could use my own personal IP address or a range of IP addresses. That would be a lot more secure protecting the RDP port if we could filter on that. But I want to get rid of this eventually. And the way to do that is to add in a Bastion service to the virtual network. So the first step is to add the Bastion subnet. If I go into my virtual network, I can see that I have, I'm going to zoom a little bit here. I can see that I have this address space as, as 10.3.0.0. So this is a full um, class B network slash 16, a lot of IP, uh, address space available. If we go into the subnet, you can see that I only registered the slash 24. So I have quite a number of IP addresses available. I can add a, a Bastion subnet to this. Now, instead of like manually creating the subnet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create Bastion and have Bastion create the subnet. So I'm going to say create a resource and I'm going to search for Bastion. And we can see Bastion server. Somebody's given it a poor rating. Hit create. I'm going to put this into my, my minor group. We're going to give this a name. I'm going to call this minor Bastion. My existing resources are actually in West US 2. And so I'm going to keep this in West US 2. Now I can choose my minor VNet, which I will choose. And it says that I do need a associate a subnet. Well, I don't have a subnet. So I'm going to have to say manage subnet configuration. We're taken back to the subnet screen. And we're going to say create a subnet. Now the subnet has to have this name, Azure Bastion subnet, mandatory name. Now there's a lot of, um, I don't need to reserve 255 addresses for it, but I'll leave this as this because I have a lot to spare. I'm not going to fill out any of these additional fields. I'm going to say save. All right. So now our Bastion subnet has been created. We go back to the wizard and the Bastion subnet has been selected. Now, in order to access Bastion, you're going to need to have a public IP address for that. And so uh, we're going to create the Bastion IP address. I'm not going to set any tags on this. I'm going to go to review and create. And now I'm going to click create. So this is going to create us a server that we're going to use to remote into our v virtual machine that we can now shut down port 3389, the RDP port, which will improve the security of our solution immensely. We're going to wait for that to complete. So we can see that uh, deployment says complete. If we look at the operation details, it took five minutes and 10 seconds to deploy. So right around five minutes. Now we can go into the um, resource group and we can see that we have our Bastion server. We have our virtual machine. Now the, the virtual machine has its own public IP address. And basically once, now that we have a Bastion server that we can connect to the machine through, then we don't need to even have this public IP address anymore. So I can go into, let's say I go into the virtual machine I go under networking. I can see that I have a public IP address for this virtual machine. I click on that and I can click disassociate. And then suddenly this IP address will be released um, that we no longer have a minor uh, public IP address for this machine. Okay. 
Now let's go into the uh, Bastion server. So we have our Bastion server installed on our, our VNet. And what we want to do then is we want to connect to this uh, VPN. The way we do that is going to the virtual machine. And when we say connect, you'll see Bastion is one of the options. And now that we have Bastion installed, we can use Bastion to connect. We do have to provide the uh, user ID and password that we provided in the initial creation. And click connect. This opened in a new window. I'm going to give it access to my clipboard. And now I've connected to this machine using uh, Azure Bastion. So we're not using RDP, we're using Azure Bastion, which is a more secure way of connecting. I can say disconnect. So in this video, we created a Bastion server, uh, added it to our virtual network, and we're using it to do administration to our virtual machines and other devices on that virtual network. And again, we can basically stop using the IP address of the VM, disassociate it, uh, and or block the network security groups so that we don't need the RDP port open anymore. Now, I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, you might be interested in one of my trainings on Udemy. If you go to udemy.com and you look for my name, you'll find my courses. Otherwise, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, this course happens to be Azure Administration, which includes skills such as Bastion, virtual networking, and uh, virtual machines, etc. I also have some more basic courses on the AZ900 certification and the more advanced courses on Azure Expert, which is the Azure Architect certification, AZ303 and 304. So go check those out. Thanks a lot for being here. Please click like on the video to tell the YouTube algorithm that this is the kind of videos you want to see. Hit subscribe. I really do appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot and I hope you have a great day.